guys, it's Taisha. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I just have to start off by saying happy Libra season to all the baddies out there. It's officially Libra season. My birthday's coming up and I'm using all that as an excuse to do some self-care shopping at Sephora, especially Sephora girl. We all know Sephora is expensive. So, you know, I need an excuse to go into that store because I feel like even the air in that store is expensive. So I wanted to take you guys along with me to do some self-care shopping, pick up some new makeup, up, body care you know just go in and shop together so that's exactly what today's video is gonna be i'm also sharing some of my must-haves that i have so when you walk into sephora you know where to go without further ado let's just go ahead and go shopping at sephora and i will also show you guys everything that i got Okay, you guys, so I made it to Sephora. They do have loud music, so I'm gonna try to, like, you know, speak a little bit louder. Um, so I'm here looking at this Sephora collection, which honestly is one of my favorite collections. I feel like it's super underrated and they have good makeup and it's more affordable. So if you're looking to stay on a budget, you know Sephora is expensive. Check out the Sephora collection. I'm going to show you guys some of my must-haves from this whole collection. So I really like the Micro Smooth Powder. It's $20 and this to set your makeup, it's bomb. So this is my color actually. This shade right here in sand, I love it. I also really like the concealer, which is really good as well, $15. It gives you full coverage, it lasts a long time, and the applicator is really good as well. So this is really good. I like from this collection are the lip stains. This color right here, if you are a nude girl like me, try this out, you will love it. Okay, so I actually put everything that I want already in the Sephora app, so now I just have to find everything. So here they have one size beauty, let me show you guys. It's actually one of my favorite brands. If you have oily skin, I highly, highly recommend it. So I had to do a voiceover for this since the music was super loud. I feel like I was at a concert, but let's talk about One Size Beauty. I really like this brand, especially if you're into like that soft glam, you know, you love the glam. So I really like One Size Beauty for that reason. Their setting powders are amazing. They give you that flawless, poreless type makeup look. I really like the lip liners, the cream blush. It's also really pretty, the pink one. That's the one I own. And also the bronzers. I just feel like this brand overall has really good products. So I would recommend you guys try out One Size Beauty if you haven't yet. You guys, they have tons of little cute sets, especially now for the holiday season. It's good to come look at their gift sets, you know, for you, for a friend. A little tip that I have for you guys, um, in case you didn't know, the Kohl's of Sephora usually have a lot of products in stock. So if you cannot find a product that you're looking for, I highly recommend you come to the one at Kohl's and hopefully you find the product you're looking for. That's like a little tip for you guys. Um, but let me show you guys the product I love for like before putting on makeup. It actually makes such a huge difference. I feel like it stepped up my makeup game. Okay, so this is the product I'm talking to you guys about. This actually works and it's worth the hype. It just makes your makeup look just better. You know, your skin looks hydrated. So I highly recommend this product. It is $35 for the big size and then the little size, $20. You might as well get the full size. I feel like you really like it. And they do have sets. Like I said, right now it's like the perfect time to try things out because of the holiday sets. Oh, you guys, so I'm in the body, I guess, care section. There's one thing that I highly recommend that I love. It just makes your body, not only do you smell good, but it makes you like glow. And you guys know I'm a summer girl. So this product right here, I love. It's $40, so tacaro. But if they do have like a travel size version. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. It just makes you glow. It smells good, it smells like summer. So one of my favorite Sephora products that I feel like it's worth it, you know? And then also from this brand, I really like their detox shampoo. It's right 
here. This one right here, they do have a little travel size mini version in case you want to try it out first. But yeah, I love this. Since I don't wash my hair that often, I feel like this is perfect. That made me sound like I don't wash my hair, but I wash it once a week. No, just to clarify. I'm sadly not seeing any of the new makeup here at Kohl's, so I think I'm gonna have to go to the one at the mall, which I do not like to go because I hate going to the mall to be honest. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go and see if I can find some of the new products there. Because here, there's that new products. Oh wait, there's Patrick Todd, let me see. Look how pretty this is. This one doesn't get that crowded, huh? No, it's because, you know what, like the, this one's, a lot of people don't know about them. Thank you, you too. So I checked out, I'm gonna head over to Sephora at the mall now. So I have everything that I got right here. I'm gonna start with the makeup because honestly, I'm super excited for all the new makeup that I picked up. And it was expensive, you guys. Like I picked up the new Patrick Ta palette and this thing is $70. And honestly, I know I don't need this palette, but I wanted to try it out and tell you guys if it's actually worth the money or not. It's an all matte palette from Patrick Ta. And honestly, this brand, it's very luxurious. It feels really good. It's not super heavy. Like it does feel a little bit pal plastically, but it's just pretty you know and who doesn't love pretty makeup so this is what the palette looks like we all know patrick ta always does the cream shadows and then the actual mattes i do have the makeup by mario here to compare it and this palette is my favorite go-to palette and i remember talking shit about it when it first came out like i just didn't feel like it was worth it but now that i've been using it for all these years i highly recommend it it's like a basic palette that you will love trust me you will really like it especially when you find the colors that work for you and they're like the perfect olive yellowy brown colors i don't know how to explain it but i love this palette so yeah this is the makeup by mario and then this is the patrick ta so honestly they're super similar but this one looks a little bit more cool tone than this one and i do really like cool tones i prefer them more than the like warm warm colors before i used to love warm tones but now i kind of love like olive cool tone colors look this is the kylie cosmetics which looks very similar to the makeup by Mario. You see this one, it's more like fall, you know, more like brown um, and warm tone. I feel like it's concealer season, so I did pick up a new concealer. So I picked up the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. This is in the shade 6.0. I do like a lighter concealer, but not too light. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like, the color. Let me see the one. Okay, it's like this simple flat, ended one it does look really creamy and i feel like the color is going to be good i like like an olive light color so that is what it looks like and then blended definitely feels very like lightweight i also got 
this concealer. I heard mixed reviews. Let me know if you guys have tried it, your thoughts, you know, if you like it, maybe you hate it. Um, no, so you let me know, okay? So this is the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. I got this in the shade 200. Hopefully I like this because I do not want to go back to the store and return this. You guys, this is a funny story, but I always, because where I live, you can only return like online orders at one Sephora and there's only one Sephora. So, you know, I return things when I don't like them, okay? I'm not scared or embarrassed to return it. You know, I want my money back. I always get the same person. There could be like 30 employees and I'm always gonna get the same person and like I'll get super embarrassed about that. They're probably thinking like this girl just returned things. So hopefully I don't have to return this product because I swear I always get the same person. But this is the packaging and then this is the one. This one's more like pointed. Okay, this color 200, it's really good. It's like a neutral color. I do feel like there's some shades missing. Like it was really hard to find a shade. So that is the 200 shade and then the 6.0 shade. Kind of reminds me of like the Tarte. I also picked up the House Labs, which I have right here. It's actually what I have underneath my eyes. I've been using the House Labs for, I would say like two weeks already. And this is what it looks like right here. This is in the shade 10 Light Golden. I like it. It's not like the foundation because I love the foundation. It has become like one of my go-to foundations. It's actually what I'm wearing right now with this concealer. It feels like those like really nice eye creams, like that thick and moisturizing but then it blends really smoothly. So this is a good concealer. It still hasn't become my favorite, but it's good, you know? And it just hasn't become the concealer that I love, but I do like it. And I also really like the applicator. The only thing I don't like about this is when you open it, I feel like it takes off like a lot of product. So I have to dip it back and forth. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I need to stop using so much concealer. And as far as the shade for the house labs, I feel like it's a really good shade if you want it to highlight without being too, too light, you know? So if you're my foundation twin, I feel like you're gonna like actually all the shades that I got for concealers. I feel like they're gonna work really good for us. Um, and then the last thing that I got in the makeup category is a Patrick Ta lipstick. Do I need more lipsticks? Absolutely not. Um, this is in the shade She's on Polygetic and it's the monochrome moment silky lip cream and i've been waiting for this shade to come back in stock so i did order this online by the way this is the applicator and then it's a beautiful nude shade i love this every time there's like a makeup artist on my instagram page they're always using this color so you know with a little bit of matte cork Feel like it's gonna be a vibe now let's get into some hair care products that i got and then i'll finish everything with body care so for hair care i already used this as well this is the dry bar smoothing shampoo the liquid glass you guys all need this product it really makes your hair is free shiny every time i buy her i do not regret it so this has made my hair really shiny and smooth and frizz free that with my hair oil and my conditioner i just have like a really good routine going on and then when i'm not styling my hair which is like 90 percent of the time because i'm lazy i always like to use leave-in conditioner so i saw this brand at sephora i have never tried it before i'm super excited to try it out this is latina own and in case you guys didn't know, it is Hispanic Heritage Month. So, you know, Arriba Los Latinos. So this is right here from Ceremonia. It's the Wawa Living Conditioner. And the packaging is also really cute. Look at this. So I'm trying this out. I will let you guys know if I like it or not. Again, in like a vlog or something. I feel like I should do like a self-care vlog where we like try all these products out together. This says right here that it has Latin American ingredients. It helps straighten and repair hairs combating frizz and i always need anything that will help with my hair become less frizzy let me smell this product right here because i just know it's gonna smell good yeah it smells like fruity it smells really good but yeah i'm excited to try this product out and i love supporting latina owned brands i have to support las nena we gotta support them right so 
I'm excited for this. So one thing that I'm going to go through really fast because I always get this product. It's the Fenty Butter Drop. Um, this just makes you glow. It smells really clean. It leaves your body feeling hydrated even the next day. So I love applying this after I shower with a little bit of body oil. But honestly, you don't even need the oil. The oil is already like included in here. It makes you that like glowy, healthy looking, like life is good. When you buy this product and you put it on, if your life is not good, it's gonna look like, because this makes you look super hydrated and glowy. So I always get the refill of that. This is another repurchase. This is the Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum. I have acne prone skin. This is my second time repurchasing it. So I really like this product because it does have retinol, lactic acid, squalene, which it's really good to hydrate it and the lactic acid and retinol are really good you have hyperpigmentation on our body so i notice a huge difference when it comes to my legs because i have a lot of mosquito bites and honestly even if i like cut myself while shaving that will leave a scar it's really annoying but this product helps out a lot with that if you're looking for some body skincare that brand overall it's really really good this is something new that i haven't repurchased before and i have never tried this brand before either and this in the store looks super moisturizing so i had to take it home with me so it has a whip formula that features a unique texture of natural oils and butters that rapidly restores nourish and soothes the skin so this is a product that if you are a lazy girl or even on the go and you do not have the time or you don't even want to apply lotion after you're done showering this is the product for us you guys see how it makes you look like more glowy oh i'm excited to shower it's like a body butter before in the shower so yeah i love anything that's gonna make me look glowy and hydrated especially now that winter is coming up and it's fall time i have eczema prone skin so anything to bring the moisture back to my body i need like right here i'm starting to get my eczema so if you guys notice it just pretend it's not there okay and also my hands you guys it's just like everywhere um and then the last thing that i got for all the girls that like to smell good on a budget highly recommend this product right here i've been wanting this i had the travel size version um it was like a little bit smaller than this this is the brazilian crush pistachio and salted caramel number 62 i'm sure everybody has this or you have smelled it but if you love the whole collection from this brand you're gonna love this product it smells amazing i love anything vanilla as you guys could tell and i just needed this i do not care if it's fall and winter i'm always gonna be smelling vanilla e and sweet it's just what i love and this doesn't give you a headache so if you get headaches like me this is headache girl approved i don't even know if that's a thing but it just smells so good you guys it's like the lotion all over your body so if you're trying to smell good a little tip for you guys get you the lotion get you this and you're gonna smell really good all day long um and also they do have holiday sets available where you can get everything like travel size so you can try it and see if your body likes it because scents are very unique and people maybe you hate that scent but i personally love it i feel like i'm always doing this but i don't know i don't like when something feels too tight on my neck but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this lip gloss if you guys get this lip gloss just know it's super sticky but it makes your lips look really glossy it's the lawless one but yeah girl i hope you guys enjoyed going shopping with me and doing some self-care retail therapy ish Kind of shopping but yeah girl thank you so much for watching and for your time i really appreciate it comment below your sephora favorites anything that's in your wish list i love talking to you guys so make sure you guys comment like this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys